All right, so luckily I have my friend Tammy Van Hollander here who's going to help me demonstrate how to use the online trauma reaction cards with a client in telehealth. So Tammy, we can go ahead and start and uh, pretending you're a client, which deck of cards would you like to start with? Hmm, I will start with the feelings reaction cards. Okay, so how you use it is you just go ahead and pick on whichever one you want and you click it. And then one by one, each card will show up and you can either drag it to the yes, drag it to the discard, or you can click it green as yes. You can also undo if you clicked it by accident or red X for the discard pile. And again, you can undo it. So let's pick a couple cards from each pack. Uh, as a child that you're thinking of on uh, who might have experienced trauma, would you say that you've had angry feelings following the trauma? Yes. I like to drag and drop because it's much more like actually having the cards in your hand. Right. How about ashamed? I'm going to go with no. Okay. So then we would put it in this discard pile and it gets grayed out down here. Betrayed? Yes. Okay. And we'll do one more card. Depressed? Yes. All right. So which card pile would you like to do next? Let's go with behavior reactions. Okay. And you'll see there's still cards left, but we're not going through all of them for this demonstration. All right. Acting younger than you are? No. Okay. Arguing? Yes. Okay. Avoiding people, places, things, or sensations related to the trauma? Yes. That's a good one. Last one, bathroom problems? Yes. Okay. And which deck would you like to do next? Brain and thinking or body? Let's do brain and thinking. Okay. So since the trauma, have you had thoughts about what happened pop into your head unwanted? That's a big one. Thinking about the safety of loved ones? Yes. Okay. And last one, difficulty concentrating or focusing? Yes. Yeah. It's interesting seeing these, Beth, and how they all pop up, but the brain and thinking reactions really seem to like light up mm -hmm. when you're, you're going through some of these, which is just interesting. Yeah. Being the client and seeing them. Yep. Yep. And being able to move them around. Now, I am controlling my screen, but what I'll do now, Tammy, because I trust you as a client, and I know you're not going to click a million buttons, I'm going to give you control over my screen. So the last set of cards, you can go ahead and move yourself. Okay. Says, I, I have had trouble doing, doing this before. Oh, here we go. Yep. Um, headaches. So, I will say yes. Okay. Trouble sleeping. I'm going to say no. Okay. Being on guard and constantly alert. Yes. Belly aches and nausea. I'm going to say no. Okay, let's do one more card. Feeling short of breath. I'm going to say no. All right. Well, thank you very much. We'll go ahead and we'll add a few more to the yes pile just so that I can show you how the checklist works at the end. So the remote control, I'm going to go ahead and stop remote sharing. Now that's an option on Zoom for some computers. It's entirely up to you whether or not you want to provide that to the child. Um, I don't use it often. And uh, most often I would do it by uh, myself clicking on it. And again, just to reiterate, you never give the login information to your client. This is just for your computer to be using because it's a, a clinical tool. All right, so let's say that we're done. We would go ahead and click on finished. It says, great job. And you can either restart or cancel if you click that by accident and go back, or you can create a report. So what we have with the physical cards is the trauma reaction cards checklist. This automatically tallies up what the child has uh, said that they are experiencing. And what you can do here is you can put the child's name. So I'm gonna write Tammy. And um, again, this does not store anywhere on the internet. This saves directly to the clinician computer. So I'm gonna click save report and it goes ahead and saves it as a PDF. I don't know, can you see the PDF or did it not share that screen? Yes, oh yes, I didn't see this one before. That's very cool. 
Yep. And if there's a lot of cards selected, um, like a lot of behavior reactions and such, it'll go on to the next page. But um, Tammy Client did not have many. So there we go. And at the end, you have that nice um, charm reaction card checklist that you can use in the future uh, when you do it again to see how progress has been going. You can also use it when you review uh, with families. And um, I know a lot of my teenagers like to see the difference of beginning and end, uh, how much less their PTSD symptoms are. That's and what HD recommends. These are for traditionally six to 18, um, but I've used it with younger kids and I've even used it with adults. Um, the images, some of them are very child centered, but not all of them. And so they can kind of be uh, relatable to all ages. So I would say three to 18 um, clinically, and then uh, use your best judgment as far as the adults that you work with that have experienced trauma. And Beth, once you use these, how often would you go back to them and use them again and checking in with them after you've seen the original list? Mm -hmm. That's a great question. Um, so I use these primarily with uh, trauma-focused CBT, but it can be used across the board in all kinds of trauma therapy. Because I do mostly TFCBT, I do it in the very beginning phase of the psychoeducation. I would also do it um, maybe before the trauma narrative or right after depending on uh, the reason. Sometimes I do it if I notice the child has made a lot of progress and maybe isn't feeling so great about themselves. Like they feel like, why am I not further along? Why does this still bother me? To kind of show them, look at how far you've come. Your pile used to be like this big. Now your pile is like this big because you're becoming so much stronger than your trauma. Great. And I've been using the cards for years and I love them and they are, they're so helpful for clinicians as well and for parents, that psychoeducational piece. Mm -hmm. So they, so they're able to look at what's in the norm and what's not and, and it just makes them feel like that they're not alone mm -hmm. and understand their trauma so much and I love how it's broken down into these, these categories. So this has helped me so much as a clinician and my clients as well as the parents that I'm working with. That's great. Thank you, Tammy. And thank you for being my guinea pig client. 